We're here with Ken Johnson today from Red Hat. One of the issues that we're looking at right now is how does uh, the demand for IoT applications impact the uh, developers and the architects that have typically been the people that you work with? Mm. What sort of questions are you getting? What sort of opportunities are you seeing? What's happening? What people are, are looking to do, they're looking to kind of make better decisions within their enterprise. They're looking to build innovative uh, methods of engagement with their ecosystem of customers and partners. Um, they're looking to get greater agility as an organization and be smarter about how they do things. And, and really, IoT is a means to, to realize that. There's kind of an emerging standard in the IoT space of the three-tier architecture. And it's coarsely a data center or cloud backend, uh, a kind of a gateway tier, uh, which is sort of a middle tier, an aggregation tier, and maybe the device or sensor tier. Okay. And there's, you know, many, many sensors devices, a relatively fewer number of kind of gateway or aggregator points, and, you know, one or a few macro backends. By using a technology stack in the enterprise that is modular, componentizable, that can be extended out to the gateway, you can adopt a footprint of software, a footprint of technology and expertise that spans multiple tiers of your architecture. So you don't have to think about, I have my back end, I have to go buy or acquire or bolt on some other thing for this mid-tier. And if you're thinking about you know, scaling and, and the, the nature of your solution demands you know, multiple, uh, multiple implementations, multiple instantiations in the mid-tier, okay. um, you don't want to have a proliferation of different technology. If you can extend your core uh, technology stack out there, you'll benefit from consistency. You'll benefit from leveraging your skills across the different tiers of the architecture. So it sounds like the, the key there is that even if you're building something just want to show that, yes, I can get my Raspberry Pi to talk to something else, that in your design, you're going to abstract out that middle uh, gateway, because you know you're going to need it if you actually put this into production. Uh, what you're suggesting is to start with the middle tier in mind and yeah. know that it's going to be there and build accordingly. Perhaps simulate it with software. Mm -hmm. You don't actually need to have the physical instantiation of that, but run a software stack as if it was a gateway. Have your communication go through that. Simulate the real environment. Most importantly, choose the approach, choose the uh, segmentation of functionality, choose the tools and, and technologies that fit that best. As people start to talk about agile, et cetera, mm -hmm. it's like, well, I have to be able to take whatever I do and incrementally do it. And what you're suggesting, you ought to be thinking about that architecture mm -hmm. before you make any decisions. Yep. Great. Well, thanks. If you want more information about uh, how Red Hat is working with the IoT, go to redhat.com. For more videos in the series, you can go to rdinsights.com.